Oriental Mindoro is now under a state of calamity after Typhoon Desoy left a trail of destruction in the province. Strong winds toppled electric posts, plunging the province into darkness. And officials say it might take more than a month, or it might take them a month before they can restore electricity in some towns. Ria Fernandez with the story. Typhoon Desoy spent just an hour over Oriental Mindoro, but it was enough to cause considerable damage to the province. Trees fell down, rice fields were heavily battered, and electrical posts toppled over, causing province-wide outages. The Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office said it might take a month to restore electricity in 14 towns and a city in Oriental Mindoro. They will prioritize bringing electricity back on national highways, hospitals, and some government offices. Tisoy left two people dead in the province. The local government said they've been reminding residents to brace for the typhoon even before it made landfall. Kasi nung December 2 pa lang, nag-preemptive evacuation na kami. Nag-barangay na yung ating mga DRRM officers. Uh, merong ilang matitigas ang ulo. Nagsama na tayo ng PNP, nagsama tayo ng Philippine Army. Para parasahin sila na dalhin sa evacuation center. Tisoy damaged around 3,300 houses. 500 were leveled, while more than 2,700 houses were partially damaged. Damage to agriculture is pegged at around 404 million pesos. The typhoon also wreaked havoc to infrastructure. Oriental Mindoro is now under a state of calamity. Despite this, classes have resumed today.